most of us has been faced with the issue of trying to transfer files from our remote desktop computer to our local computer now for instance uh you have an rdp and you know rdp downloaded so fast uh, there was a time i downloaded windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 on my rdp within space of a minute of which i can't really do on my local system and my problem is i was trying to copy to move this file from my local uh, from my rdp to my local system and it's it looks really impossible then i searched a lot of videos on youtube or uh, trying to find out you can do this you can do this and most of them are telling us uh, download this file download team viewer download this and download that so i was like there should be a simple way we can achieve this without having to download you know external software or third party software so that is what i'm here for today my name is thompson and welcome to simple tech solution a youtube channel where we tend to give a solution to your technical problems and um where we give tips and tricks on how to make computer world easier for us to access so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open um the computer the local uh, disk of the system to see what we have here now for instance if i go to this pc now you can see what we have here we have the local disk c of my uh, local computer and we have this that is the external disk that i added okay now there is a flash drive i added to this but it's not being added why because i didn't share the flash drive so i'm going to teach you the way i really shared this from my local computer system to my remote desktop system so i'm going to minimize this and go to my local computer system no i'm even going to minimize i'm going to close okay i'm going to close this okay then uh let's see what we have in my local computer system you can see we have this c this d and these other things we have there now we have this windows 10 uh, i renamed it windows 10 flash drive it is not there so to share your local resources uh, from your local session your local computer to your rdp it is as simple as anything i don't know why people didn't really come up with this idea you don't really need to download team viewer on download any usb redirector you know i had them here because i had to try them to see if it's gonna work or not so let's just take this and see how simple it, it could be so click on your start menu and uh, just type rdp now the mistake you are going to make is clicking on your main rdp for you to connect automatically no you don't really need to click on this rdp for you to connect automatically what you need to do is click on this the normal remote desktop connection instead of connecting automatically okay so i'm going to click on this then it's going to launch an interactive box before uh i click on connect so it is this interactive session that i'm going to work on before uh connecting it okay so i'm going to click on open and let's see now this is my ip now you need to click on show options okay now under the show options you go to local resources and you click on the more option now if you can see this you see something around drive now initially it was like this okay so it was like this so you won't see anything on it what you need to do is click on this plus sign and share every single thing you want to share now initially i shared this local disk c i shared this but now i'm going to unshare this i'm going to share this windows 10 usb flash drive and i'm going to click on okay and i'm going to click on connect so let's wait for this to connect and see if we are really going to see the uh, usb windows 10 flash drive on my uh, remote desktop computer okay fine this is where we were initially so what i'm going to do is i right click on this and i'm going to refresh even without refreshing you can see we have it over here f on desktop mo2 so that is the name of my desktop so let's click on you can see what we have here f on desktop mo2 so if i uh, open this i guess it's empty there's nothing on it let's see okay yeah the folder is empty there's nothing on it. so what i'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, file and I'm going to copy it here. Now you can see this is really empty. There's nothing here. But there's something you need to know about moving files from your local computer to an external disk. It takes a whole lot of time. You are depending on the speed of your system, but it still takes a whole lot of time. You see speed around 62 kilobytes per second. At times you see 600 kilobytes per second. At times you see 1 megabyte per second. But 
it takes a whole lot of time that is something you should know if you need to copy if you're gonna copy stuff from your uh from your local to your remote desktop session or from your remote desktop session to your local it takes a whole lot of time okay now that is number one number two i guess there's a cap there's a data cap there's a size cap of things you can copy i guess it's around two gig although i've not really tried that because i tried copying something around nine gig yesterday uh it started copying and it never told me uh that there's a data cap of two gig so i don't know if uh it copied to an extent to tell me it can't copy uh, beyond two gig because i've seen that every online that there's a data cap if you're trying to move stuff from your rdp to your local computer system that's a data cap of two gig but i've not really done that so i'm not really sure if that's gonna work if that is really a fact or just you know just something people came up with so as you can see i'm copying something of nine megabyte and it's taking a whole lot of time but don't mind my system the system i'm using here is really it's a it's a really low system i just really need to work on this uh because it is time conscious so it's a very low system around uh, four gig ram so if you're having a system around 16 gig ram and you know a high system you're gonna see that it's gonna work so now the flash was actually empty when we uh, we got it here and we copied something from our remote desktop station that's our rdp to the flash drive so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna close this and i'm going to close my remote desktop session as well then i'll go to my local computer system to see if or whatever i copied there it's uh it's really there so i'm gonna open this and let's see our windows 10 you can see this is what we copied so if you really like this video please give a thumbs up to this video like this video subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so whenever i release interesting and really in insightful videos like this you'll be the first to know so thank you once again for watching see you next video